let us see some problem based on the vapor pressure of the solution and uh, this problem is uh, here uh, application of this problem is rod's law so on the basis of rod's law we can solve this problem so the vapor pressure of the ethanol and methanol are 42 mm and 88.5 mm mercury respectively so an ideal solution is formed at the temperature by mixing 46 gram of ethanol and 16 gram of methanol so what is the mole fraction of ch3oh in the vapor so we have to find the mole fraction of ch3oh in the vapor so we'll see how to do this one so uh, this is the two solutions given here volatile solutions okay and they are ideal so and weight is also given so directly we can use the uh, application of Rolls law so Rolls law says that total pressure is equal to uh, mole fraction of methanol into uh, vapor pressure of the pure methanol so this is MeOH plus mole fraction of C2OH plus P0 of C2OH C2H5OH so we can put value so this is a partial vapor pressure so this will be mole fraction will be mole by 32 weight they have given it so 16 by 32 plus 46 by 46 and vapor pressure of methanol is given here 88.5 similarly we can show ethanol also so ethanol is here given 46 so divide by 46 by 46 and same process 16 by 32 plus 46 by 46 and again here the pressure they have given 42 millimeter so on solving we will get here total pressure 57.5 millimeter on solving all we will get here this one now what is the mole fraction of methanol in the vapor so we will apply here partial pressure of methanol is it equal to mole fraction of methanol into uh, we have a pressure of methanol in pure state so this is equal to so we have a pressure of methanol it is vapor form this is in liquid form this is in liquid form so this is application of rod's law but this will be application of Dalton's law so keep in mind this is Dalton's law so this is vapor pressure so we are writing here gas so now we can solve here we know this one 88.5 it is vapor pressure of methanol and this we know very well 6 by 32 divided by 16 by 32 into 46 by 46 okay so this is the one pressure and this is equal to so mole fraction we have to find out the mole fraction of methanol and total this pressure is again we know that it is 57.5 so now we can see here uh, mole fraction of methanol will be 0 0.513 so up to this much we require after that we can solve it very comfortably so next is your at 88 degree centigrade benzene has the vapor pressure of 900 torr and dolmin has a vapor pressure of 360 torr so what is the mole fraction of benzene in the mixture with tolvin that will boil at 88 degree centigrade at one atmospheric pressures benzene tolvin form an ideal solution so where pressure of benzene given tolvin also given so again no problem so total pressure is 760 torr okay the total pressure is so this is so this is your given here so at one atmospheric pressure so again and boils at 80 100 degree centigrade so at atmospheric pressure. so 
you can write here one atmospheric we have given so using the Rolle's law we can see here 760 equal to 900 in, into mole fraction of benzene we can see here so uh, benzene given an anhydrous uh, plus 360 into mole fraction of the so tolvin they are given right here tolvin or we can write this into in 1 minus mole fraction of benzene so 900 into mole fraction of benzene plus 360 into 1 minus mole fraction of benzene so again we can solve very easily so mole fraction of benzene will be because we, only this value we have to find out other is given here so this will be equal to 0 0.5 seven four so this is our particle answers so at 40 degrees centigrade the vapor pressure in tour in tour of methanol ethanol solution is represented by equation so this is the equation is there p equals to 109 point 119 xa plus 135 where x is the mole fraction of methanol then the value of uh, this is P A by X A. So here X tends to one, means close to one. So here mole fraction of A is one here. So we can see from this question, this is the equation given here. So what is the this value P A by X A? Actually, they are finding the what is the value of P. So P means this P is the total pressure. So again, we can write here P equal to hundred nineteen X A plus 35 and now we know that limiting P A by X so X tends to 1 here X tends to 1 so, so we can write here 119 so this is 1 so here right here 1 and this is your 135 so total we are 2 4 and we know that so this is human and we know that so P so this is the P is the total pressure so this will be your total pressure of the solutions now next we will see So at 80 degree centigrade, the vapor pressure of the pure is 520 millimeter mercury and that of pure liquid B is 1000 millimeter mercury. So if the mixture solution of A and B uh, boils at 80 degree centigrade, so and one atmospheric pressure, what is the amount of A in the mixture? So here value they have given. So liquid A given, liquid B given and you can see their pressure 520 and 1000 millimeter of mercury and this mix is boiling at temperature 80 degree one atmospheric pressure so per amount of a we have to find out not difficult we can use the rod's law so rod's law is that uh, total pressure is equal to mole fraction into p naught a so we can write here a for liquid okay and plus mole fraction of b into p naught into B or we can change it here one uh, one minus mole fraction of a so this we can also modify x a into p naught a plus here one minus x a into p naught b so we know that is two pressures so this total pressure is given here 760 millimeter and x a we know that it is here p or a is 520 meter pressures okay and uh, uh, if the mixtures uh, and B is well, so here we can write here 520 into XA and this is P naught B so here we can write here P naught B into 1 minus XA so, P naught B, also we know that that is your 1000 millimeter mercury. 
okay so we'll get here 520 into xa plus 1000 into 1 minus xa so we can solve here xa will be your just about 5 so or in terms of percentage so we can write here 50 percent so this is the amount of a in the mixer okay so now we'll see next problem two liquids okay, two liquids x and y so yeah, two liquids are given x and y form a ideal solutions and 300 liter uh, kelvin vapor pressure of the solution containing one mole of x and three mole of y is further added to the solutions so vapor pressure of the solution increases by 10 meter mercury Okay, so previous pressure is something there so after addition of uh, this 3 mole of y okay, in this solutions uh, some we are adding so vapor pressure increases by the 10 meter of mercury so vapor pressure in millimeter in millimeter mercury of x and y in their pure state will be so what will be the vapor pressure after increasing okay so again same here we can use the application of Rod's law the total pressure is P naught x into mole fraction of x okay x we know that plus P naught uh, y equal to mole fraction of y so here total pressure they are given here so 10 meter mercury okay and ideal pressure is this one so we can write here So this data is missing over here. The total pressure is here 550 and pure is here 